Hi, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on uh, channel masking in Photoshop and we're going to use uh, channel masking to make a selection of uh, the girl and all her hair. Channel masks are really good for something like this because hair is so difficult to select with all of the strands and like sort of getting some of, you know, making it see through in here. Um, the, the best images for a channel mask have you know contrast so if this hair was on a very dark background then it really wouldn't be a great um, choice to do masking on uh, it'd be really difficult actually to do that but this should uh, come out fairly good because she's on a very light background or a white background actually so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the channels panel here and we're going to look for the channel that has the most uh, contrast and you can see like the red, red usually doesn't, um, green is better, and blue, blue is definitely the best. So what we're going for here is a complete silhouette of the hair and her, and then the white in here and in the background. So if I go ahead and mess with this channel, it's going to mess up my picture because I need these channels to produce the RGB composite that makes all the color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of the blue channel and I'm going to right click it, I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to name it the mask and uh, I'm going to click OK and then this is the channel that we're going to be doing everything on here so we don't mess up our, our image. So I'm not going to start on the hair, I'm actually going to start on her and work to make her a complete silhouette and then I can sort of adjust levels to get the hair. And I'm just going to use the quick select tool and kind of just um, run over some of her body here. I've got her shoulders, her um, her face, this arm, you know, kind of like clicking around a little bit, her hands. Okay, so that's, I've got a good selection up in here. This isn't, I'm not concerned about that because it's really easy to get. Now I want to take these two parts out. So I'm going to option click in here. That's fairly easy, and I'm going to option click in there, and then you can see that I have my, my girl selected. So I come over here, and um, I have my default colors. You can hit D on the keyboard to get your defaults, and black is in the background. So I'm going to fill this with black, and I'm going to do that by command delete, and she's going to be completely black now. And I'm going to now um, deselect her. And so um, I'm going to be cleaning this up. Uh, later, a little bit, you'll see. And now what I want to do is I want to grab my paintbrush. I'm going to swap, uh, swap my colors and hit X on the keyboard. And then I'm going to make my paint shift, my paintbrush a little smaller with the left delete key, right? I mean, sorry, left bracket key. And um, this area here, I just, I know I want it. You know, it's her head. So it's not, you know, I can go ahead and I don't need like all of this. I don't want any of that to be um, like haloed as it is. So I just sort of clean that up. I can maybe clean up a little bit here. There's a little bit of edges, edge work here that I'm not really that jazzed about, but I'm not gonna mess with it right here. I'm gonna mess with that afterwards. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that this black out here, the hair is just as nice and black as this is. And I'm going to, to do that, I'm going to go to image and I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to go to levels. I'm going to make a levels adjustment. When you, with the levels uh, adjustment dialog box, what I can do is I can add a bunch of black by moving the slider and you can see the sort of the black growing. See how the black is kind of going in there and it's filling in a lot of the hair. What I can also do is I can also add a lot of white. And so what I'm also doing here is I'm dropping some of the white back where I needed to maybe clean it up in here or something like that. So at this point I've added a lot of black and I've added a lot of white. I can also shift the mid-tones if that's going to help. So you can see that if I move the mid-tone slider over, I'm getting more and more hair. Now you don't want to be crazy like this because you see how it gets very clumpy here and it doesn't look very good. It looks sticky. It looks like she's got like mud in her hair or something like that. And that's not good either. So we want to pull that back, you know, just so that the ends don't look like she's got some kind of like weird hair mask on or something like that. Anyway, so this is pretty good, right? 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and we're going to go ahead and go with this. Okay, so I'm going to make a selection. And I can make a selection pretty easily by command clicking on uh, on the um, channel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything back on by clicking right here, right in the middle, not on the eye, not on the thumbnail, not on the title, just but right here. And it's good because it turns this off and it turns everything back on again, which is what I want. I'm going to go back over to layers and I'm going to go ahead and just make my layer mask down here. Okay. So I go ahead and click it. Now you can see that's the opposite of what I wanted. It's not really a huge deal because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get my properties. Um, panel open and the properties panel I can I can access some of the properties of this mask so well uh, first of all I want to invert my selection um, so that it's her and not the background and you can see how what a great job it kind of did already with the mask 